what's going on. Pack the bagpiper here. There's the camera right there. Just doing a uh, check-in video. Um, smoking um, Manuel Lopez Punch cigar. Been really digging these punch cigars. I first had them like two weeks ago. And it's like right up my alley. Nice and mild. Not a whole lot of nicotine kick to it. Smooth to draw. It's good stuff. Surrounded by my citronella F forest field <laughs> uh, for the mosquitoes on this balmy Florida July evening. It's actually been quite a mild summer. Uh, I mean, it's been hot during the day, but it's been kind of leveling leveling off pretty good during the evening. Uh, it's kind of comfortable right now, actually. I'm very used to the humidity, though. Uh, I used to do landscaping back in the day, and multiple cars without air conditioning, you know always roll with the windows down so my blood's very thin so humidity doesn't really affect me <laughs> when I was a teenager and I first moved to Florida oh my god I, I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe how it felt and uh, <clears throat> I couldn't believe people lived it lived in that you know A uh, little recap, uh, we had the uh, St. Pete Pipe Club meetup, and um, it went very well. Uh, Andrew Nolet, NP Pipes on Instagram, he, uh, he showed up again. Um, uh, great conversation. Also, uh, Josh Turner, um, I can't recall your Instagram, it's, uh, Briar, I don't know why I can't recall, I apologize, I can't recall your Instagram at the moment, Briar something, um, showed up, um, didn't make as far of a trip as Andrew did. Uh, he's actually in the in close to the neighborhood, uh, a few towns over. Um, it's great to have uh, Josh. Um, added a lot to the conversation. You know, we talked uh, FDA. We talked uh, everything under the pipe sun, really. And uh, it was good times. Um, again, uh, the owner of House of Pipes and Cigars in St. Petersburg, Florida, Mike, um, was very uh, hospitable and you know offered anything you know anything that we would want. Uh, he definitely wants to do kind of like a um, collaboration where. Once we get the uh, St. Pete Pipe Club um, website up, and he's getting working to get his website up, uh, you know, he's just like me, uh, kind of a procrastinator. <laughs> um, you know, you know, have them kind of bounce off each other, you know, for uh, uh, 
exposure and everything, you know. So, uh, I recommend the House of Pipes and Cigars, and in turn, he'll recommend the St. Pete Pipe Club, you know. A little bit of a parasitical relationship there. But, uh, Mike, great guy. Um... So yeah, you know, Pipe Club went very well. Missed a few people, uh, John Keller, um, among others. Uh, a couple people couldn't make it, and uh, it's understandable. That's why uh, I'm in, uh, I'm pretty per uh, insistent on keeping it uh, at the uh, every two months uh, frequency because even at every two months people things come up I mean you know if I were to do it every month um, it would be that much harder I think for people I mean people's lives are busier than ever and um, especially um, everybody that's been coming is not from St. Petersburg <laughs> you know the, the uh, the goal is to, you know, uh, introduce the hobby, um, maybe, I don't want to use the word convert, but um, corral a few cigar smokers and, uh, you know, they might enjoy it more than they think or they just don't know what to do or they, you know, um, a lot of these pipe shops, uh, offer very little education on uh, pipe smoking uh, or I should say uh, just tobacconists in general not pipe shops but um, uh, a full-blown pipe shop normally somebody's pretty knowledgeable um, although not necessarily uh, not necessarily offer you know the variety that the internet offers but um, of course you want to support your uh, local brick and mortar as much as possible um, and then together you know help each other grow um, if you create a demand um, then hopefully the supply will follow suit you know but if there's not a big demand then like right now there are there are pipers in St. Petersburg um, from what I understand, it's just a lot of the old timers, you know, uh, and, uh, the few that w that were, um, alerted to the St. P. Pipe Club, they, you know, they seem to be kind of lone wolves, so, which is cool, and I understand that, um, But, um, you know, it's a, it's a growing process, you know, um, but with the help of, uh, the internet and everything like that, uh, connecting, um, hopefully, um, and a little, uh, legwork and get some local guys going. As well as, oh shit, <laughs> sorry. It's like a bug crawling on my hand. Uh, as well as uh, people from around the state. Um, so, um, This is good stuff. Punch. Um, I guess that's about it. Just a little bit of a um, pipe club uh, overview.
All right, YTPC. Till next time.